Hello, back again with a, another video showing you how to uh, combat buffer bloat. This time I'm using LEDE firmware, open source firmware, which is the uh, breakaway group from OpenWRT. In the uh, last video I showed you the settings I use in DDWRT, but I swapped over a couple of days ago to LEDE because it seems to work better for me. I'll just show you the settings I use. So let's go into my router settings. Oh, just logging. They have slightly changed uh, in this version of LEDE. The thing it is, it's a David C502 build. I'll put a link in the uh, description for you to download if you uh, do want to test. So the thing you do, you go into network on the left. Oh, scroll down to SQM QoS quality of service. You don't have to really change much, but the thing you want to do is enable SQM instance, just tick that box. Then in your downloads, normally you'd go sort of like 10% below your average speed, but I've got it set as the normal speed I get for download and the normal speed I get for upload. So you just want to place them in the boxes. You can click save and apply, or you can just click save, then save and apply afterwards after you've changed all the other settings. In a queuing discipline, uh, the default is FQ Codal, Codal, I think that's how it's pronounced. And then in queue setup script, you want simple quality of service, QOS. It's the only settings in there you want to change. You can click save and apply. And then in link layer adaption, I'm using a uh, ADSL. So I've got it set as ATM select for e.g. ADSL1, ADSL2 or ADSL2 plus. And as well, if you're using ADSL in the packet overhead, you want to put 44 in there. And one, um, once that's done, just click save and apply. That's all you have to change in them settings. So I will just go to uh, what's it, DSL reports and run the test. Right, all you have to do now is click uh, DSL. Doesn't take too long to do, it's just checking the, uh, uh, where you're near. So it's uh, coming up as London. Thing is, this bar here always wants to be on the left in the green. If it goes right over to the right, it means you've got a problem with buffer bloat. Uh, doesn't take too long, it's nearly finished now. It's checking me uh, upload speeds for uh, buffer bloat. And as you can see, I get an uh, overall one A, buffer bloat A. And quality is A. You can it does I think it does go up to A plus on all of them. But getting A on all three is uh, pretty good. The thing I'll do as well at the end of this video, I'll uh, show you the results from my iPad and also from my uh, PS4.
So, uh, as always, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, goodbye.